Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm super excited. I'm super excited for like every video I film. I just, I love doing this. During the cooler months, like I do a lot more with my hair than I do in the summertime. It's cool enough to have a f hot tools near your head and it's cool enough to keep the the style in your hair all day. And I just, I have a lot more fun with hair in the winter. So I thought, why not film a hair video? I'm going to show you what I do to my hair as I get ready for bed, and then show you what I do with my hair when I wake up in the morning. So if you wanna learn all about my hair, then please keep watching. So this is just what I look like, like after the day. So I washed my hair yesterday. I usually wash my hair on um, Sunday afternoon and it is now Monday evening. So um, when I have fresh washed hair or like day after hair, it's usually like really limp and like my uh, my teasing doesn't really stay that well. I bleached my hair like a couple years ago, bleach blonde, and I just totally ruined my hair. So I've been doing like an excessive amount of like deep conditioning and like oil treatments and stuff. So my hair right now is really soft, but with that, soft hair is also super limp. So like it is difficult for me to like keep a tease. Like I teased my hair so much last night and even just finger combing it, like I can't feel much anyway but like later days it'll be a different story so I'm just going to show you what I do um, I just take any paddle brush I just I've had this one forever and I just brush my hair usually like the teasing would stay a little bit better so you just start at the bottom and then just slowly work your way up so you're not just brushing into teasing and then just making it tighter so you can hear some of it now just a little bit so I've brushed all of the teasing out. Day one, it's gonna be super easy. And I still consider Monday day one even though I washed my hair on Sunday. Honestly, this product is like the reason that I'm able to skip washing my hair but once a week. And this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. And I have it in the dark and deep brown. There's like a little bit of dark in it, which isn't super necessary for me because I do it at night anyway, but if you're like on the go and you put dry shampoo in your hair, like it'll make your roots look like they're gray. So this like combats that. So I just spray this on my roots every night. I think it helps from looking greasy. So I'm just gonna start with like a pretty deep part on the side like this. I'm just gonna shake up the can and then you really don't need a lot because we're going to be putting it in a lot of spots, just like that. So dry shampoo, like, so you can kind of see it like looks kind of dull. That's why I like to do this at night so that it can take the time to absorb all the oils. Dry shampoo is really good though because it adds texture to your root as well. So it's not just so slippery. See how that looks? I wouldn't really want to do this the day of something. I like to give it time to absorb the oils in my hair. So I just massage that into my scalp for a little bit. And I think this promotes hair growth too, just stimulating your scalp. So now I'm gonna section this like I'm doing a half pony. And I'm just gonna hold this up and then spray underneath. And then I'll do another layer. Now that we're taking care of the oil in the root, we also want to maintain the shine on the ends. So I just found this at TJ Maxx. It was ten dollars. This is argan oil, and just whatever you use, make sure that the ingredients are just Argania spinosa kernel oil. That's all you want. You don't want any chemicals or anything like that. Argan oil, like hundred percent argan oil, is so good for your hair. So the kind I like has a little eyedropper, and I just take like five drops, and then way more than that. 
and and then just distribute this to the ends of the hair to make everything soft and smooth and silky and it does wonders for your hair the pure adore stuff i just ran out of and it seriously has also saved my hair like i cannot believe how soft my ends of my hair are it, it used to feel like steel wool it was so embarrassing but now like it's shiny it has integrity and i love it i also love bio silk silk therapy just because this stuff is so good. But this you don't want to use too much of. Please ignore my orange palms. I don't bring anything above my chin when it comes to oil. Oil should just stay down like lower than if you were to do a ponytail. I do this every night and I have not had better quality hair than I've had since doing this. So I dye my hair black. The less you wash your hair when you have dye, the longer it lasts, obviously. So I love doing this whole once a week deal. So I like to curl my hair in the mornings and I just feel like you wanna protect your hair and the best way to do that is with the heat protectant spray. But it really weirds me out having wet hair when I'm curling it. So I like to take my heat protectant spray. Tresemme, I think, has the best one. And I just like to spray this in my hair the night before I curl my hair. This is not scientific fact or anything like that, but I just personally feel like it's counterproductive to wet your hair to protect it and then use a hot tool on it because I can you can hear it going when your hair is wet, so I don't like that. So I just like to apply my heat protectant before bed, let it soak into my hair and then curl my hair in the morning. I feel like nighttime is more like pampering and like it's a little bit more apologetic than what you're about to do to it in the morning. <laughs> so you saw the night before and all the stuff that I did there. I have a Chi Air and a, it's like, I think it's Jill Bear. I don't really know. So I turn those on. So the next step that I like to do is tease my hair. It's very flat, just like mooshed. I feel like I should live in like Jersey or the South or something because I just, I love big hair. I'm going to take right like where my part ends, I'm just going to take a section of hair like that. And I'm just going to back comb it, putting it up to the hair and then just pulling downward. And I just like to do a couple sections before spraying it. I'm up here already. Another comb that's, <laughs> I'm like explaining everything like this. Another comb that's really nice to use is the like brush kind. These are really good too. I do this like right before the nape of the neck. And then I take this L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. And I spray each section. And I just let that hang for a minute. Then I do the sides. Same thing. Second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day hair, like holds a tease so nicely. So the biggest thing I want to avoid when teasing my hair is just not to have it look airy. Like you don't want to see like hair like that and like gaps like that. No, 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 no. You want it to look thick and full. So you just kind of press it down to the rest of the hair. I just get the toppiest top layer, like pretty close to the part. And I just grab all this hair and in the back, like I just grab a little bit, like basically the first part that I teased and I just section this off. I have no more white clips, they're so much cuter, but it's fine. 
I like to curl away from my face and what I do is I like to run the curler through the hair first just to warm it up and prime it for a curl. So I do one loop and I hold it for a couple of seconds and then I move it downward and like before I get to the end, there's still quite a lot at the end, I hold this for about 10 seconds. And then I just, um, I press the handle just to like loosen it up a little bit and I curl it to the end, hold it, and then let go of the curl. The way that you let your hair style set is you let it cool down completely. So I don't touch this, I don't zhuzh it or anything. Like you can clip it if you want like that. I don't do that, um, but you can. I just move on and I just like try my hardest not to do anything to that guy. Same thing. I don't really curl the tees. I just go like right underneath it. Then I get the end. So now we just unclip this. So I just grab the back section and I split it in two. And then I just curl it same as usual, but I do like to pull it up a little bit more. Just, I don't know, maybe it'll help make some body. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Okay, throw that in the back. And then these front pieces, I do them really fast because I just don't want them to be like super curly. Curl it just pretty much as fast as I can. And then I have this really obnoxious thing with my bangs where they just like, sometimes they go zoop like that and I don't want them to do that. So that's why I turn on the straightener. Today it is not happening, but even if you're Hair is like flipped out too much. See, it's a little, it's a little much. You can just run your straightener through your bangs. This I let set for like 10 minutes. Like I really don't like to touch it that much. So like in the mornings, like I do my face makeup and then when I'm finished with my face, I tease it and then I curl it and then I wait like 10 minutes and that's when I like do the rest of my like my eye makeup and the like contour, blush, and lips and all that. And I just, I do as much as I can to like not touch this and just let this set. So we have movie magic and we made it 10 minutes um, past. And I use L'Oreal L Net Satin Hairspray. This is pink because it is all day volume, which I need. So I just spray this on the ends. I don't really worry about the the teasing stuff because I already put creation spray on that. So I just spray this out like that. When I'm done spraying is when I unplug my hot tools. Okay, and then last but not least is the BioSilk Shine On. So this is just a spray that makes your hair smell really good and just shine really beautifully. I love BioSilk. BioSilk like, keeps my hair feeling so touchable and soft. So this is how I like my hair to look. The teasing like seriously falls like so fast. So I overdo it because it just falls. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I just thought it was something really fun and different to do on my channel. I had a lot of fun filming this and I hope you enjoyed watching too and I'll see you in my next video. That's how my, oh. so that's it you guys, that is, oh.
I'm not prepared. Okay. <laughs>